If you have one of these old cedar spin mops that's not spinning properly, chances are it's a bearing that goes bad underneath. I'll leave a link in the description for that if you need a part for it. Um, like if it just quits spinning or it goes back and forth and it's not spinning around in one direction, uh, it's the bearing that's, that goes inside this little gear that's underneath the bucket. Uh, if you take a look under there, you can see that little that little gear that has the um, bearing in it. And then there's a piece of plastic that, that holds that gear from sliding or moving up and down. Uh, if you take the screws out of the bottom of the bucket, there's four of them. And you should be able to lift it right off of that pin. Um, you might have to wiggle it around a little bit. But what happened with mine was the gear was so impacted around that pin that it, it wouldn't let go. So I had to actually break that plastic uh, retainer piece there uh, to get it to let go. I tried to fix it with a couple washers. That's not going to work out. I'm going to do something else. I'll show you. But uh, and then you can pull that little gear off. It sits on a little sleeve uh, that holds the bottom in place. Uh, and that's what you need to get to is that little gear. You can see down inside there. It's a needle bearing that only spins one way. That's usually what goes bad. You can get just the bearing itself and save the uh, sprocket thing, that little gearbox. I just bought the whole thing. It's pretty cheap. Um, that's the little sleeve that goes down inside uh, that holds the bottom of that gear in place. Uh, should it happen to fall out or something, that's where it goes. And you just pop the new bearing in like that with the gear. And then what I opted to do, since I had to break this thing um, to get it off, uh, I'm just going to make a new piece. You can make it out of wood or anything that's, you know, somewhat rigid. I, this is a piece of, like, privacy fencing plastic. It's pretty pretty solid. I just had it laying around. It doesn't have to be rocket science here. Uh, it just needs to hold that bearing from wiggling upwards. Um, so I just snipped off a piece roughly about the same size as the old piece. Um, and I'm going to drill holes in it. Mark your holes where the screws go and where the pin comes through. And just drill those out. Like I said, it could be a piece of wood, piece of plastic, piece of metal. It really doesn't matter, really. Uh, and then it should just slide right back on to that pin. And you're good to go. Put your screws back in the bottom and uh tighten it up real good there you can see that that little pit plastic piece that holds that gear in place uh give it a few spins and oh, you're off to the races so uh that's typically what goes wrong with these things so um hope that helps